Hi everybody, it's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back seeing what I'm up to. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be bringing you a thrift haul. I think pretty much the whole month of December, I did not bring you a thrift haul. Our thrift stores were bare. All the ones that I visit in my area just didn't have a lot to offer. And maybe now that people have gotten their Christmas over and yeah, then they cleaned out and got their new stuff and putting their Christmas stuff away, maybe they will be packed again. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I am just sharing with you, it took me a month to gather up what I am going to show you. And maybe it's that I know what's selling now in my retail booth and so maybe I'm a little bit pickier, but I don't really even think that's it. There just wasn't a lot to offer on the shelves or I missed out, which, you know, whatever it was meant to be. So I'm happy to share my finds with you. First of all, I don't get a lot of viewer mail and that is perfectly fine and I'm happy with it. And anybody that takes the time to send me something, thank you so much. I'm gonna be sharing a gift from Christina. It just totally touched my heart. If you watched my channel, you watched my thrift haul, you watched over Christmas time when I showed our house and our home decor, I collect black leather Bibles. I just absolutely love that. It just Yes, yeah, so, so when I'm lucky enough, when I'm out and about and I find one, I I can't even tell you how excited I am. So to have somebody actually send me a black leather Bible, an old vintage Bible, oh my goodness, brought tears to my eyes. So I will share with you. So here is the one. Yep, um, I think it's it's dated, it's got um, some names in it, which I love. I think my oldest Bible is 1950 or 1915 maybe. So I'm not sure what this one is. This one says 1960, so it does have a few different names. And then there's this sweet, oh my gosh, look how old this little one is. Just a little handheld probably um, a pastor would have kept it in their pocket. I don't know. I, yes, I, I just, I, I, this is definitely one of those little pocket ones. Oh my gosh. You can just feel how old it is. So he, you truly do not, I don't know if I can express how much that means to me um, to receive a Bible in the mail. So they're, they, they're not as easy to find as one would think, especially when I'm looking for the old, the, I like the black leather, I'm looking for the older, older, the worn, the, that you can tell that they've been opened up a lot in red. So that is, you know, when I'm thrifting, that's what I'm looking for. So, oh, thank you so, again, so much, Christina. You know who you are. Number one fan from Ohio on her note, but I'm not gonna read that to you all. We'll just keep that private. So again, I'm gonna thank her. So let's get on with this thrift haul. So when I'm looking, I'm looking for stuff that I can redo. I'm still kind of gearing towards that farmhouse, that cottage core, that white. I kind of varied off the path a little bit, doing some viewer suggestions. And you know what? What sells in our booth is the white, is the white and the black. So that is what I'm going to, when it's near to your heart, I'll just have to take the comments of people going, get color, get color, but yes. So I'm just gonna stay, if it's your passion and you wanna resell it and you wanna decorate your home in it, then yes, there's gonna be other people that love it just as much as you. So we're gonna start right off with this beautiful iron stone picture. So for 309, I found another ironstone picture. Now I have to say I have not started selling any of these yet. Um, my family's going to start telling me to because I'm losing split place to display them, and I can't. Yeah, how many pieces of furniture can you have in your house? I know I just absolutely love our furniture, but for 309, definitely. If it doesn't fit in my collection, I might have to figure out what, what, what to do with it all. So we'll stick with the pictures for right now. Now I don't pick up a lot of pewter. Now this one, what I believe was 509, it's lost its tag from Goodwill. Now pictures will sell for me in pewter. Anything else, I can't say, maybe if I'm lucky enough to find like a serving spoon set, but other than that, Pictures, I always do well with pictures. So for 509, and I usually sell them around the $20 range and they they sell. 
And then this one was a little one. Now I can't say that I had, I've had a little creamer before. So for 309, I did pick up this one also. So these were two separate times. And then for 409, now this is a handmade pottery piece and it had been there over a week. <laughs> so when I finally decided that, um, nobody was going to really pick this up. I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up because then I'm going to repaint it. Probably I'm going to repaint it plain and simply. Nobody wanted it for a week in our local Goodwill. So yeah, I'm not sure right offhand right now what color I'll paint. It's actually labeled pink. I, I don't see a ton of pink on it. Maybe salmon, I guess, but yeah, but pictures still, pictures are so nice and so easy to decorate with. And so, yeah, I like picking them up because they sell for us. So for $2.99, I did pick this up at Salvation Army. This I, I just love that galvanized. I think this was one of those old scoops that you use for grains and flowers. So yes, definitely love these. And I treat these just like a vase, you know, so you could decorate with it. You could put greenery in it. You can just put it on a shelf. So. Yeah, this size, especially this size, this is a nice size. So going with that farmhouse. So for 309, I did pick up, this is hard to see because of my light, but it's an old dairy bottle and it, it says Twin Brook Creamery out of Wisconsin. No, 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 no. Washington, excuse me. WA is Washington, right? WA is Washington. So yes. So I, I still pick up milk bottles, especially if they are labeled. Um, I've kind of thought about labeling myself because those rolling pins I labeled did quite well. So for 309, yes, I, and I, these sell for me about nine, nine dollars, um, anything over nine dollars and they'll just sit. So I have to think when I'm buying them, um, if I want to pick them up for that price, but I definitely think they get people in because of the wording. People like wording on, on old bottles and stuff. Okay. Like I said, I didn't, I don't have a ton guys. So for $3, actually, I had actually picked this up at an estate sale. We saw a sign when we were thrifting outside of town, there wasn't much left, but it's a, it's a pig cutting board, and after I clean it up, it's been used. I think that MSE means Martha Stewart Essentials. So just I'm just going to clean it up and then um, sell it as is. Just has all those we're being used. And then for 409, I picked up this little swan set. Just I'll take all that going on off of it. Just make it nice, plain and simple. Give it a new paint job. It is, they are glittery. Um, swans always do sell swans ducks. So yes, I need to get that glitter off and just get them a little bit more simple. And then for 209, look at this little pottery that's been glazed kitty cat. Anytime like a pottery piece, um, pottery sells really well. So I, I always kind of check it out, see if it's not cracked or broken and pick it up. So usually as soon as I put it in my booth, it is gone. So I couldn't pass up the cute little kitty cat. Let's see if I can lift this one up. So for $7.09, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's a bread box. I've never seen one like this. Um, it's got a nice lid. It is Bella Bug. Bella Bug. There is a little chip um, right down here, but I don't think anybody's going to really worry about that. We got some staining. I'll probably soak it, see if I can get that off. But other than that, it's in wonderful shape. I mean, this is kind of the stuff that I put on the bread boxes that I redo. So I think somebody will be happy to have that, especially when it has a lid and the lid is, there's no chips or cracks on the lids anywhere. So that little chip on the bottom, I don't, I don't think anybody will care about it. And then let's see. For 509, I picked up this clock. 
I don't even think I have to do anything to this clock because it's already black, you guys. So, yep. Remember to always carry battery with you. So, I'll just clean it up, get those tags that are half on, half off, get the stickers off, and I'll just resell this as is. Probably about the $15 range since I'm not doing anything to it. Now, we all talk about prices and, like, us trying to stick some color in our booth that didn't really do well. The red did okay. Um, some of the red anyway, but when it came to um, pricing and you're like, everybody's like, raise your prices, raise your prices, your prices are too low. We're actually going back in and we are going to lower stuff down because we did raise our prices and we probably had our worst month ever doing that, <laughs> which luckily the month before was our best month ever. So it kind of evened out. So you just have to find in your area what items are going to sell for. So, yep, I tried everybody's rule of thumb, the rule of three, four, you know, all that. But I like buying stuff. I like showing you how to repurpose it. But you do. You just have to go in your area. So, and we were making money at the prices that we were making before we raised our prices. So that'll tell you right there when our sales halted in the month of December, which is not a good thing, guys, to have your sales halt because you're like, you know what, it's December, people keep saying, suggesting to raise our prices. Yeah, no, so I'm not sure if I'm even gonna sell, share our prices all the time on our videos anymore, only because, my gosh, I cannot believe how many people say that to us. But you have to go to your area and what is going to sell in each one's area. So yes, we're not a whole store, we're just two little roofs inside a great big antique mall and a, Yes, and I advertise on Facebook, and we're working on getting an online store going, so we'll see how that goes. That's a lot of that's a lot of work, you guys. So, oh, I'm working on it. So anyway, so let's keep going. So now this is just a napkin holder. I love galvanized. I love chicken wire. I believe it was 309. It lost its tag. So I don't have to do anything to this and we'll see how this sales. This is one of those things that you can put in and if it doesn't sell, you can bring it back home and then paint it. Then for 609, I know I've seen these at Ikea. These are just one of those pieces you don't have to do anything with. It still has the Ikea sticker on it. So yeah, just, I'm, I, I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I would just use it as a shelf sitter. So yeah, I thought, you know what? I've never had one of these or bought one, picked up one of these. So we'll see how it sells for the 609. I'll probably see how much they are. This one doesn't have the price tag left on. So we'll see how much this is on Ikea site. Now, for 309, I picked up this prayer box. Oh my gosh, is that not super cute? So you open it up and my, oh my goodwill receipt's still in there. You open it up and you can tell it was a gift and nobody used it, but you're supposed to put your prayers on your little pieces of paper. I've seen, I've heard of people doing that with fish bowls and um, things like that and having little prayer areas in their home just like that. So I thought this was just, just absolutely good yeah heart touching uh heartwarming so it's a mud pie which i'm not i'm not really familiar with mud pie okay and then this our store our local store gets target returns so this was um one of the heart hand and hearth magnolia and I, they, I, this is my third one i picked up i've actually i've actually kept two of them um, so I'll probably resell this one. They're just, they're nice. So for $6.99, they're originally $24. So I think they're still for sale at Target, actually. Okay, so for $5.09, look at this big. Now, I, I used to have small metal ones like this. This is a resin, though. But, yep, this, it needs a new paint job. Needs some kind of a hanging system put on it so we'll have to be careful there trying to figure out how to hang it um I think that's why the ends are so beat up because it's heavy it's really heavy so super excited about this find and then for $3.99 at Salvation Army I picked up this Magnolia wreath oh yeah yes I think people still like these I have this one caught my eye I thought it was well done um, so yeah, yep, definitely liked this one. 
Now this will be a little bit, oh, maybe, maybe we can get this in there. What was this? 509, it just, and yeah, isn't that nice? Letter, magazine, holder, put your, can't you see having this hanging in the kitchen and have your um, cutting board collection in it? I definitely thought this is was a nice find. So same thing, just like that little napkin holder. I won't do anything to it at first. I'll just see how it sells as is. And I've sold a couple other ones like that just as is. So, and then for 509, I found another one of these coffee mug um, trees and it spins. So, yep, this is, I've sold all the other ones that I've thrifted. So I'm perfectly happy about running across another one. And then I picked up, this was a series of trays. I'm not sure who made these trays, um, but I liked, this was actually some wood. I can paint that. This one was 309. Um, this one was 409, but it has nice little handles. And then there was a bigger one for 509. So I don't know who made it. There's no stickers on it to say, but I definitely know that I can paint over that. I don't even know if they've even, even been used. So now this was a great find. If you saw my Instagram story, oh my gosh. So yes, there was actually two of these brand new paint sprayers from Ryobi. So we have a ton of Ryobi tools. Um, I sent a picture to Chris while he was at work saying, do I buy them? Do I not? They were $20.09 a piece. Now they run regularly when I looked them up, $99. Um, Home Depot was running a sale for $49 for the holiday season. But yeah, brand new. So um, we already had batteries. They didn't have batteries. but So even if I resell them, like on Marketplace or something, still, yeah. I mean, you can at least double your money back or we can find something. Chris, I already hooked it hooked one of them up to run water through it and yeah, they work. So would you pick these up if you, if you have Ryobi tools at home and already have a battery that would be, um, yeah. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a handheld without any cords. <laughs> How nice would that be? Okay, we're, we're getting down here guys. So I just want to share, um, this was a Dollar General butter dish, $5. Um, I, I picked up a few of these at random Dollar Generals, just like Goodwill. <laughs> the Dollar Generals haven't been having too much um, to go with the theme that I like. But yes, this is one of their butter dishes, $5. Butter dishes, I think I'm sold out of butter dishes right now. So this was a good find finding these. And I just resell them um, for $10. Um, so, and yeah, I'll keep it that way because that's what's selling. Um, and then I did thrift this little for $2, another, now these little calendars sell really well. And the funny story is I just picked up one from the Target dollar spot for $3. So yes, so I, I like having these in, in my, in my inventory. So when I sell one another one, then I can put another one in. So these are a little bit smaller than the ones I have. So I'd probably go nine dollars um, because my other ones I sell for twelve. That are a little, they're much bigger that I have. Now I did score one other thing, one of these bread boxes from the Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> they're five dollars. Yeah, just was a uh, lucky. But this one is, um, look at that. Can you see it is all beat up? I know my ring light's showing, but um, yeah, it's all beat up. So it would have been nice not to have to and found, found a white one. So unfortunately, I'll need to paint that one because it is, yeah, not good finish or knocked around. There was only one left on the shelf when I got there. So, so I think I have shown you everything in our thrift haul. I hope I have shared a little bit about how our sales have gone and that we're just going to adjust our prices again. It can't hurt, it can always go up and see how they go. And, and if it doesn't sell, then you can go down. 
And yeah, so to go from your best month ever to your worst month ever in two years because you raised your prices, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that just shows you, I much rather sell stuff and make, yeah, I would like to make a great profit, but I also would like to sell stuff too. So just wanted to, I just wanted to share that all with you when, you know, if I don't share prices on our videos quite as much, you just have to look, check out your area, check out your Facebook. I know everybody has a rule of thumb, but no, it didn't really work for us. <laughs> it did not work for us. So yeah, that made me sad, but <sighs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching today's video and tell me what your favorite item was that I picked up. And yeah, it took me a month to find this kind of thrift haul for you all. <laughs> so thanks again for watching guys. And if this is your first time watching, thank you so much. And if you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell. So you know when we've uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys. And you can see what we're up to. Bye. Mm -hmm.